Hello everyone, it's Adetra Farmaster and welcome to part 2 of Let's Build a House in Newcrest. So today we're back after the great feedback on the first episode, which I must say I was very happy with. I was really happy to see that very many of you commented. So please leave, uh, yeah, make sure that those comments actually keep coming. And then, uh, yeah, this series will be awesome. And I must say that I'm sure that this will be a, an episode with great progress because I actually... Uh, planned what I'm going to be building I actually before uh, recording this I actually started building already or planning out what I was going to be building in this part and um, Yeah, I also would like to make sure that you know uh, what I'm actually planning on doing with the custom content I actually read the comments you said and the I must say that the uh, opinions were kind of um, Yeah, there were two teams the yeah, we want custom content team and the boo custom content We don't want custom content team and um, normally I go for the no custom content team but this time I'm going for the custom content team just so this um, yeah let's build we can actually experience some new items uh, and in this way you can actually uh, see some custom content uh, yeah and the way it works and the way it looks like and uh, in that way uh, you also might get a little bit familiar with uh, this custom content there was one thing that very many people said they wanted if I used custom content and that was that I actually put the link to the creator in the description well that's not a problem so I will be doing that if I forget to actually put it in the description once or maybe even in this episode already make sure that you just let me know because then I'll actually put it in um, so I actually got some new custom content for this series because I found out that it was some awesome curved yeah actually a curved fence but it can be used as a curved wall um, custom content which looks really cool seriously it's it's so epic so I'm going to be using that in this house because I just really like the look of it and custom content is always something that I simply can't resist I you know people are sometimes kind of against it um, and uh, yeah, because people say, you know, they don't want to download it or they don't know how to download it and they're afraid their game will actually like crash or screw up. Well, to start, make sure that you actually get your custom content from a, like a good website like The Sims Resource or uh, Mat The Sims. I think those are the two best websites or at least that's uh, Mat The Sims is actually what I got this uh, custom content from. Um, so if you wonder where I got it from, well, that's it. And otherwise, um, the Sims resource is where I believe I got this fence from, but I'm not too sure actually. But, um, yeah, if you, you know, just make sure that, um, you actually get it from the right side and that whenever there's an update for your game, you actually get it out of your mods folder, uh, all the custom content. Um, because otherwise it can actually screw up your game because like the custom content is not updated yet to the new update and then. You know, things can go entirely wrong, which I don't know anything about. Um, because, you know, I don't know that much about that stuff. Uh, I just build. Um, but yeah, I will actually be using it. And since this is a let's build house, which makes that I can maybe spend a little bit more time on it. Uh, I might actually upload two versions to the gallery. One with custom content, one without. But I will actually in this series be building the one without custom or with custom content. Um, yeah, getting things, uh, yeah, how do you call it? Um, getting things complicated. But, um, yeah, this is just a house with the custom content. Uh, and now I'm actually going to look up the pictures that I bought or that I took of the house when I just built it, like, before recording. So I would actually make some progress in this part. And, um, yeah, there we go, I have them. And now we actually start building. And um, people really like the roof of this house, which I must honestly say, I think it looks really awesome as well. And this is really going to be such a very fancy, modern kind of Hollywood Hills house. Not in the hills, but you know, maybe it could be in Hollywood. It's just like a very fancy house, uh, kind of like you see them in the movies. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it um, turned out to look like when I was actually building it just a few moments ago. Uh, to prepare and um yeah i hope you'll enjoy it as well so there we go making something yeah kind of strange maybe but it's something so just building that here uh, let me see how am i going to fix this because that that simply doesn't work right 
Um, let me see. Oh, there we go. It did actually work. Um, alrighty. So, um, yeah, the, the feedback on this series was seriously awesome. I was very happy to read it, actually. And, um, yeah, I was very happy to see that people indeed liked the idea of doing just a regular let's build a house, not like another uh, community lot or anything like that, just a normal house, which is really what I wanted uh, personally as well. Um, so there we go. This has some struggles. I don't know how I did it when I built it before. Um, but I believe I did it like... Wait a second. Um, struggles. Um, by the way, yeah, th this is kind of where the struggle starts when it comes to doing like a live recorded. Uh, well, not live, but you know, real time recorded. Uh, let's build. And that's that, you know, whenever I'm really focused, as far as you can really be focused on building in The Sims, um, yeah, that I don't really know, or I just can't say that much because I actually have to go concentrate on building a house in The Sims. Or yeah. You can concentrate on this. It's not like making a test or anything, but you, you need some precision for this. Um, alrighty, there we go. Is this what I want? Or is it too big? I believe it's too big. I wanted it to be smaller. There we go. That's how I did it. Yep, alrighty, so that's the look I wanted to go for. And then... I'm by the way planning on making like a huge bar over here, um, which I think would look awesome. And especially um, keep in mind that the uh, perfect patio stuff pack, oh the shit, this is something that happens a lot. I have no idea how to fix that. So if you know, yeah, I don't think anyone knows how to fix that. But um, yeah, the um, Sims 4 patio stuff pack, uh, patio stuff pack is coming out. On, I believe the sixth, yeah, coming Tuesday, I believe the 16th of uh, June. And that will come with like a hot tub and all that kind of awesome outdoor stuff. So I'll be using that in this house a lot. So therefore, there will be very many outdoor places. So this is kind of a combination between a new crust and a, a perfect patio stuff pack build. Um, because often I dedicate my uh, letter builds to like a specific expansion pack or a specific yeah stuff pack in this case. Um, so if you were wondering what it was focused on, that's what it is. Um, so here I actually add some stones um, just because I thought it looked cool and it actually fits with this. So I really like that and I wanted to add it to just yeah nature is kind of integrated in the house or at least that's what I wanted it to create with this. Um, sounding like a real architect, you know, that's always what they say, like integrated in the nature and, you know, looking at the environment and making it fit in the environment. That's always what architects say whenever you see them on television or after they've built like some crazy house. Um, so I'm just pretending to be one as well. Um, at the same time being 15 years old and just going to school, not being an architect as well, at all. There we go. Um, English struggles. Um, Alrighty, so that's that's curved wall is just so awesome. And look at this. If you're actually like indoor in there, I mean, I can really imagine having my desk here, you know, having the perfect office, you know, having like a cool view over that pirate ship over there. Awesome, seriously. I want those curved windows like to be in the base, well, you know, in the base game or coming with an expansion pack, like really having those coming to the game would be awesome and this actually shows that it is actually possible or um, too many actually there um, it's just I don't know what is the problem but you know for some reason EA just doesn't make it and maybe because they want to actually you know have it in an expansion so they can make some more money uh, but at the same time let me look up what I actually bought there because I had an ID I just forgot the ID <laughs> um, yeah, what looks better? This or this? I think this looks a little bit more like... Yeah. This looks better, I guess. And then there we go. By the way, this is going to be a huge house. Like, 
seriously it's going to be massive but that's what i wanted for this house so no problem there if you don't like big houses this might not be the house for you but if you do like modern houses at the same time i think you won't be able to resist this house or at least that's what i hope you know i'm kind of putting up the hopes too high maybe uh let me see there we go um because i kind of wanted to make like a bridge between these two parts of the house i really like that id i believe the legacy did it in one of her builds and i like that id so i you know some people might call it copying but i just use it and i like nearly sure that she doesn't really mind that um I'm actually planning on doing a tag team house with the Ligracy. I've actually built my part already. It's like a police station. The point is that the Ligracy is like very busy and you know, she has a massive channel. And at the same time, she's doing like a job and like all kind of crazy stuff, while well, crazy, you know, having merchandise, which looks awesome. So um, therefore she is currently not able to finish it, but um, yeah. I hope she will actually be able to finish it because I really worked hard on that uh, police station and I think it actually turned out to look really cool um, and I would really like to show it to you but I still want to leave it as a surprise um, for that video but I'm not sure when that video will actually go online but you know ever you will see it the question is just when um, but we don't know yet uh, there we go this is just something i wanted to make because i thought it would look awesome and it does really create a really cool effect and i think this house looks so awesome from like the sky if you look at it from the top wait a second i mean this looks so cool so complicated so modern so i just really like that about this house um let me see there we go let me look at my timer because that's what I'm actually going to be using a little bit more often with my videos, especially let's build and let's plays because sometimes videos are just way too long or they just turn out to be way too short and that's just not what you want. So though with let's build, I often just focus on the uh, progress made. So if you make like a massive progress in 50 minutes, what, which is probably what's going to happen in this episode, I don't mind that the episode is short, but if I just make no progress, it doesn't really matter that the episode is like 30 minutes. And by the way, talking about a let's play, which I also know, uh, mentioned here, um, I would really like to know what kind of uh, let's play you would like to see, because then, by the way, this is another piece of custom content. I'm sure that I actually got this from um, The Sims Resource. So if you would like to check this piece of custom content out, the link will be in the description. And um, yeah, you'll just be able to download it um, by going to that side. And if I forget to actually put it in the description, you know, start yelling at me and then I'll actually uh, put it in the description. There, whoops, yeah, there we go. Um, this starts to look pretty epic. Um, by the way, Something I really want to add, though it's something you shouldn't really add when you're still shaping the house, are these ones. Just because they really kind of start to give you the feeling that this house brings, kind of. Like the modern, luxurious, fancy house. At least that's what I'm going for. Um, oops, I'm really screwing up these windows. Placing windows can be pretty hard. Nope. Alrighty, so looks alrighty. I still like the top view or this view like most. It's in this way you see the massiveness. Is massiveness a word? I'm not sure, but you see the huge house or how big it is. That's what I should say. Um, I'm rambling around, but um, yeah, adding this here. Do -do 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 -do. Sometimes I'm just so relaxed while recording this and therefore I'm just rambling something um, which is not always a good thing but at least you know you watch this because you probably you know want to relax and just do nothing and then you know 
it might be fine to actually listen to someone who's pretty relaxed as well. Um, though I, yeah, you know, it's, it's so hard to actually be relaxed when you actually don't speak in your native language. But yeah, at least I enjoy what I'm doing right now. So um, there we go. We're actually adding such a crazy roof part again. And I'm planning on making like a cool outdoor area there actually. Um, with like maybe a huge outdoor kitchen. Uh, that's at least the plan. Um, so yeah, wait a second. Um, maybe I should actually change or add something here. There we go. What would this look like? Because it shouldn't be too massive, you know? A, a big house is cool, but it shouldn't be like crazy. There we go, something went wrong there. For some reason, like, yeah, foundations and walls are doing pretty strange in this house, but I hope it in the end won't really mess up everything, because then I would really be screwed because I just like this house way too much. Um, yeah. Is it too massive to have like two of those huge things? Yeah, I, I don't like that idea. I'm not going for that. Um, alrighty. So, as we go on, I might actually place another piece of yeah, another piece of roof, or what do you call this, literally? Another piece of floor, actually, but it's not going to be a floor, though. This is actually going to be the kitchen, so it is going to be a floor. Um, let me see. As you notice, I'm not using this anymore, and this one, which looked pretty cool as well, I must say. But, yeah, should, should I still use it? Let me see. It's just a little bit too blue, I'm, in my opinion. And... Yeah, it does look cool. Maybe I will actually use it. You know, whenever I use... If I use custom content, I should, like, make a house full of custom content, actually, you know? If you started using it, it doesn't really matter anyways. Um... Let me see, maybe this is something I can keep going with. Let me know what you uh, think. I might not always put like your request or your tips in the, uh, or I might not change it in like the first episode after that, simply because I really have to start um, pre-recording stuff uh, for when I go away uh, this coming summer. And that really takes like a lot of planning, lots of pre-uploading. And therefore um, I will have to sometimes like make some videos uh, forward for you so um in that way i can actually plan uploading and you know it's just easier for me also i'm very busy with school so i don't have that much time for uh, like m making videos like every day so therefore i sometimes just record several ones on one day um but i hope that doesn't really matter and in the end i will of course read the comments i will actually uh, take your requests but sometimes just not in the episode directly after that um, but yeah, I'm not sure about that color. I don't, I don't think I'll go for that blue one. It just kind of stands out and that's not what it should. Um, alrighty. What should I do here? This is like kind of a struggle part. Oh, my phone is making noises. Um... Let me so not that high. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, it's it's just being such a mess sometimes. But at least I know some tricks to fix it in an easy way. Um, there we go. So that looks pretty cool, I think. And then maybe I can use some cool fancy methods there fancy fancying to do too bad seriously that's um t 
custom let me see at this under there at this under there there we go and then this should be added over there as well there we go yeah that would be cool for that for the kitchen the outdoor kitchen or the outdoor relaxation area kind of with the hot tub i think i'll add like several hot tubs to this house at least one indoors and definitely one outdoors uh, and maybe like two outdoors you know you want to have different hot tubs with different looks and feels and i believe there are two hot tubs with this new stuff pack in case you're wondering if you would like to know more about it uh, make sure you actually go to my channel on the 16th because then I'll actually make videos about what comes with this new stuff pack and you can actually still check out the videos I've made about it already um, So yeah Just some self advertising here um, Shameless I f oh, why? Yeah, wait this this it did work actually already um, Because then I actually want this to continue over here i think there we go though it does create some problems there but it does make it look better i think yeah so then i have to fix this problem or solve the problem which is not that hard because we just do this actually makes it look a little bit more detailed as well there we go and then we're at the end of this episode so um yeah the house really starts to get a shape and i think it really starts to look cool actually so please let me know what you think of the house so far uh, let me know uh, what i should actually change and um yeah please remember or remind me of putting the links in the description Please, if you want to remind me, make sure that you actually checked whether the links are really not there. Because maybe I will actually remember to put the links there. But anyways, thanks for watching this part. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I definitely enjoyed recording it. And then I hope to see you back later.